Hello, this is a tutorial for students on how to access feedback. In order to access feedback, you have to get into the Grade Center. So to do that, you will go to Student Tools and click on Student Tools. When that opens up, you will find the area here called My Grades and click on My Grades. Okay, we're going to focus on these top two items. This is a test shell created for a fictitious student. And so you can see that you're going to have a list of all of the assignments. You will have identified whether or not something was graded and when. And you'll have a score out of possibles. And then you may also have this little word bubble here, which means that you have some comments. If there is a rubric, that will be used for grading. You can click on the View Rubric link here. You can also click over here on the actual title of the assignment itself in order to get access to that material. So the first item, the Homework A, was a Word document that was submitted to an assignment link. So I want to show you what that looks like. I'm going to click on the View Homework. So you will see that you have your assignment here. You'll also see that there are some comments over here to the right. You have the ability to kind of blow this up a little bit. You can also download it. For our purposes, we don't really need to worry about that. But each item here is corresponded to one of these little red marks. Okay, so one of these red marks here. So this first one, since it's associated at the beginning, it says item should be centered. So you have feedback listed here, what's called inline feedback. Okay. And then you may also have some information in this comments area. Here it says feedback to students. See the rubric for specific details about your score. You can see your score here. If you see an icon like this, kind of looks like a checkerboard or a tic-tac-toe board, if you hover your mouse over it, it tells you that it's view rubric icon. So if you click on that, you'll actually get to see your rubric. So you have this entire rubric here with some various uh, items, criteria on the left. You'll have some performance measures here along the top. This goes from excellent to competent to needs improvement. It could go the opposite way. You may have some language in here that defines the different areas. And depending on a score that you get, you may find that the instructor puts feedback in this box as well of the clickable rubric. So in this case, you got a 10, and there's the feedback from the instructor here. The total category was a 30 for this criteria on content. The student scored a 24, and then here's some feedback down here. Also down along the bottom here, I'll do some scrolling, you have a little bit more detailed feedback to the learner. So there's a number of places that that feedback can be shown. Okay, so I'm going to get out of this one. We're going to go back to your Grade Center, My Grades. And we're going to take a look at the Seminar 6 discussion question. So this is where a rubric is used for a particular grade center column, but there was not an assignment link. There was not a place to submit the particular assignment. So it could be something that's posted to the discussion board. It could be just uh, grading for the engagement on the weekly discussion board, but there's a rubric associated with it. So like I clicked on the Homework A link here, I could have also clicked on View Rubric. I'm going to do that here since notice Seminar 6 discussion questions because it was not an assignment link submission. It's just going to be an individual graded column. And we can see here that I as the student scored 19 out of 20. So I'm going to click on the View Rubric. And basically this kind of shows up the same way. Again, I have some criteria along the left side. I have some performance measures or competencies along the top, and then I could have some feedback in the various columns and boxes like I do here. There could be some additional feedback to the learner in this case. 
So this is just a quick tutorial. I wanted to take a couple of minutes just to show you the way that a student can access feedback on a couple of different types of assignments that would be listed in your Grade Center. Hope this was helpful. Thanks.